This is who protects a millionaire today. But tomorrow, this robot could be doing the job instead. One costs $240,000 a year and might miss threats. The other never sleeps, never gets distracted, and comes equipped with automatic weapons and tear gas launchers. From Chinese military robots patrolling streets with net guns, to AI systems that can detect threats faster than any human ever could, I'm about to show you how artificial intelligence is completely revolutionizing personal protection. Get ready as we compare the flesh and blood bodyguards of today to the unstoppable AI guardians of tomorrow. Let's start with what human bodyguards actually cost and what you get for your money. Jennifer Aniston drops a jaw-dropping $240,000 a year on personal security, putting her on the short list of celebrities with the highest paid bodyguards in the world. Her main bodyguard is a guy named Shelton, a celebrity security pro with a resume that includes Robert Pattinson, Julia Roberts, Katie Holmes, and even Tom Cruise. But even Jennifer Aniston's budget looks modest next to Katy Perry's. She reportedly spends around $350,000 a year on personal security. Her main bodyguard fans swear looks like a young Hugh Jackman. After giving birth to her first child in 2020, Perry seriously tightened her security detail because fame is one thing, but motherhood raises the stakes. Now compare that to what China just deployed on their streets, a tire-looking robot that costs a fraction of a human salary but can withstand shocks of up to four tons and travel at 22 miles per hour over rough terrain. No bathroom breaks, no salary negotiations, no personal drama. Just pure, relentless protection. Human bodyguards need sleep. They work 12-hour shifts maximum before fatigue sets in. The Chinese police robot? It patrols 24-7 without ever needing rest. While Shelton is catching some sleep, that robot is still scanning for threats with multiple camera systems. While millionaires are dealing with bodyguard drama, billionaires have turned personal security into a full-scale military operation. And the numbers show exactly why AI is about to take over. Mark Zuckerberg spent $25 million in a single year keeping himself safe with human security teams. He's flanked by armed guards 24-7, has panic rooms with bullet-resistant glass, and hidden escape routes. But here's the problem. All those humans can only be in one place at a time. Meanwhile, China's military just released footage of a four-legged robot dog marching through a field with an automatic rifle mounted on its back. The Chinese state broadcaster calls it the newest member of China's urban combat operations. These robot dogs are programmed to conduct reconnaissance, identify the enemy, and strike the target. If that thing comes around the corner and you're on the other side, you're done. Google's Sundar Pichai had $8.27 million spent on his personal security in 2024, more than three times what they spent just a few years ago. That's an entire team of highly trained humans working around the clock. But at the 2025 World Robot Conference in Beijing, companies demonstrated robots that can change their own batteries in just three minutes and never need time off. Apple's Tim Cook had $820,000 spent on protection, plus another $1.62 million on private flights. That's $2.4 million for human-based security that still requires constant coordination and communication through radios and hand signals. Compare that to AI bodyguards that can be networked together. If one robot detects a threat, every other robot in the network knows about it immediately. They can coordinate responses in ways that human teams simply cannot. No miscommunication, no delays, no human error. Here's where the comparison gets brutal. Humans have a reaction time of about 0.25 seconds for visual stimuli. That might sound fast, but in a life or death situation, it's an eternity. Pascal Duvier was Kim Kardashian's six feet, four inches, 250 pound German bodyguard. He was everywhere, red carpets, runways, viral photos. But in 2016, when Kardashian was robbed at gunpoint in her Paris hotel room, Duvier wasn't there. He was reportedly with her sisters at a nightclub. The result? $10 million in stolen jewelry, a traumatized client, and a $6.1 million negligence lawsuit. It's the reality of human protection. No matter how well trained, they can only be in one place at a time. They need bathroom breaks, they get distracted, and sometimes they're simply not where they need to be. 
Now look at what AI brings to the table. The Chinese police robot processes visual information and reacts in milliseconds. It has multiple cameras creating 360-degree awareness that no human can match. These robots use stereo cameras and RGBD cameras to perceive their environment, locate themselves, and recognize objects simultaneously. While a human bodyguard can only look in one direction at a time and might miss something happening behind them, AI bodyguards process input from multiple cameras at once. They can see in the dark, detect heat signatures, and identify weapons or suspicious objects that human eyes would completely miss. The physical comparison isn't even close. Take Kendrick Lamar's bodyguard situation. When fans in Australia spotted the 5 feet 5 inches rapper walking beside his giant bodyguard, it didn't take long for the internet to explode. TMZ posted the photo, and suddenly people were calling them Brand Stark and Hodor. The size difference was so wild it turned into a viral meme overnight. But even the biggest, strongest human bodyguard has limitations. They get tired after running. They can be overpowered by multiple attackers. They can be injured or killed, leaving their client completely vulnerable. The Chinese police robot can withstand shocks of up to four tons. If someone tries to ram a car into a VIP, a human bodyguard gets crushed. The robot keeps functioning and pursues the threat. It's equipped with net guns and tear gas, making it highly effective at stopping criminals without needing backup. At the 2025 World Robot Conference, companies demonstrated robots working in electric vehicle factories, sourcing and hauling objects that would require multiple humans to move. The Walker S2 robot can sense when its power is low and change its own battery in just three minutes. Try getting a human bodyguard to work for three days straight without food, water, or rest. The Chinese military robot dog doesn't just carry weapons. It can march through any terrain while maintaining perfect accuracy. No human can match that level of endurance and precision combined. Here's where human bodyguards get really messy. Sometimes the relationship between millionaires and their bodyguards gets way too personal. Pamela Anderson, Heidi Klum, even Kim Kardashian, each of them dated their bodyguards. Princess Stephanie of Monaco didn't just date hers, she married him. Daniel Ducruet went from protecting royalty to becoming it after a three-year relationship and two kids. Think about the security nightmare that creates. Your bodyguard is supposed to take a bullet for you, but now they're also sleeping with you? What happens when the relationship goes bad? What happens when emotions cloud their judgment in a crisis situation? My bodyguards don't have this problem. They can't be seduced, bribed, or emotionally manipulated. They don't get jealous, don't have personal agendas, and can't be blackmailed. The Chinese robot dogs are programmed with one mission, identify threats and eliminate them. No emotions, no hesitation, no personal drama. Or at least, no yet. Human bodyguards can be intimidated, confused, or hesitant in high-stress situations. They might freeze up or make poor decisions under pressure. Remember, these are people who sometimes can't even stay awake during their shifts or show up when they're supposed to. AI bodyguards execute their programming with perfect consistency. They don't experience fear, doubt, or confusion. If they're programmed to conduct reconnaissance, identify enemies, and strike targets, that's exactly what they'll do without any emotional interference. The surveillance comparison is absolutely devastating for humans. A human bodyguard has two eyes that can focus on one thing at a time. They might be watching the crowd in front of them and completely miss a threat approaching from behind. They can't see in the dark without equipment, and they definitely can't process multiple video feeds simultaneously. The robots demonstrated at the 2025 World Robot Conference have six cameras on their bodies, stereo cameras, RGBD cameras that allow them to perceive their environment, locate themselves in space, and recognize objects all at the same time. They're essentially walking surveillance systems with the ability to take immediate action, while human bodyguards communicate through radios and hand signals, creating delays and potential miscommunication, AI systems share information instantaneously across multiple units. If one robot detects a threat, Every other robot in the network knows about it immediately. Human bodyguards need to sleep, which means surveillance gaps. They need breaks, which means coverage holes. They get distracted by personal problems, which means missed threats. 
the Chinese police robot patrols 24-7 without ever needing rest, food, or personal time. Let's talk about the brutal economics of this comparison. Mark Zuckerberg's human security team costs $25 million per year. That's not a one-time cost, that's annual. Every single year, Meta has to pay that amount just to keep one person safe with human bodyguards. Jeff Bezos spends $1.6 million annually on his human security team through Gavin De Becker and Associates. His team includes former CIA, NSA, and U.S. Secret Service agents, the most expensive human protection money can buy. Now compare that to the Chinese approach. Once you buy the robot, the ongoing costs are minimal. No salaries, no benefits, no health care, no vacation time, no sick days. The robot doesn't demand raises, doesn't quit for better opportunities, and doesn't need constant training updates. The Chinese military robot dog represents a one-time investment that provides decades of service. While billionaires are spending millions every year on human teams that might not even be there when needed, China is deploying robot armies that work around the clock for the cost of electricity. Even the most expensive AI bodyguard system would pay for itself within a few years compared to the ongoing costs of human security teams. And unlike humans, robots don't get more expensive over time. They get cheaper as the technology improves. When it comes to actually stopping threats, the comparison is terrifying. Human bodyguards are trained to assess situations and show restraint. They might hesitate to use deadly force, especially if they're not sure whether someone is actually dangerous. They have to make split-second moral decisions about when to shoot and when to hold back. That hesitation can be deadly. In the time it takes a human to process a threat, decide on a response, and take action, an attacker could already have harmed their client. The Chinese robot dogs don't hesitate. They're programmed to conduct reconnaissance, identify enemies, and strike targets. If their sensors detect a weapon or threatening behavior, they respond immediately with whatever force is programmed into their system. The Chinese police robot comes equipped with net guns and tear gas. It doesn't need to call for backup, doesn't need to wait for orders, and doesn't need to worry about legal consequences. It sees a threat, it neutralizes the threat. While human bodyguards might miss threats because they're looking in the wrong direction or because they're tired, AI systems maintain constant vigilance. The robots at the 2025 World Robot Conference demonstrated the ability to perceive their environment through multiple camera systems simultaneously. Human bodyguards require years of training and experience to become effective. They need to learn martial arts, weapons handling, threat assessment, and crisis management. Even then, their performance can vary based on their mood, health, and personal circumstances. Take Jennifer Aniston's bodyguard Shelton, He's got decades of experience protecting A-list celebrities. But all that experience is stored in one human brain that can make mistakes, forget details, or simply have an off day. The Chinese robot systems can be programmed with the combined knowledge and experience of thousands of security experts instantly. Every robot gets the same perfect training, and they never forget what they've learned. They don't have bad days, don't get rusty from lack of practice, and don't need refresher courses. At the 2025 World Robot Conference, companies demonstrated robots that could learn and adapt their behavior in real time. These aren't just programmed machines. They're AI systems that can improve their performance based on experience. While human bodyguards might panic in situations they've never encountered before, AI systems can access databases of threat scenarios and response protocols instantly. They're essentially carrying the knowledge of every security expert who ever lived. Here's where AI bodyguards become truly superior to human protection. Human bodyguards work in teams, but they're still individual people with individual limitations. They communicate through radios, which can fail, be intercepted, or simply be too slow in a crisis situation. The Chinese robot systems can be networked together into a comprehensive security grid. Every robot shares information instantly with every other robot in the system. If one unit detects a threat on the east side of a building, every other unit immediately knows about it and can respond accordingly. While Zuckerberg's $25 million human security team has to coordinate through verbal communication and hand signals, AI bodyguards can share tactical information at the speed of light. 
They can coordinate complex responses involving multiple units without any possibility of miscommunication. The robots demonstrated at the 2025 World Robot Conference showed this networking capability in action. Half a million people came to see machines that could work together seamlessly, sharing information and coordinating actions in ways that human teams simply cannot match. But here's where things get really scary. Human bodyguards, for all their flaws, can be held accountable for their actions. If a human bodyguard shoots an innocent person, they can be arrested, tried, and held responsible. They operate within legal and ethical frameworks that include the possibility of mercy, restraint, and moral judgment. The Chinese military robot dog, with its automatic rifle, doesn't make moral judgments. It's programmed to conduct reconnaissance, identify enemies, and strike targets. But what happens when its identification system makes an error? What happens when it mistakes a child with a toy gun for an actual threat? A human soldier might hesitate, might double-check, might show mercy. The robot will simply execute its programming. And if it kills an innocent person, who's responsible? The programmer? The company that made it? The person who deployed it? The Chinese police robot with its net guns and tear gas doesn't care if you're having a mental health crisis or if you're just confused. If you're identified as a threat, you get neutralized. No questions, no appeals, no human compassion. While American billionaires are still spending millions on human bodyguards who might not even show up when needed, China is already deploying robot armies that never sleep, never hesitate, and never miss. The 2025 World Robot Conference showcased more than 200 companies with AI systems that are ready for deployment right now. These aren't prototypes or concepts. They're working robots that can change their own batteries, navigate complex environments, and coordinate with other units. The Chinese military robot dogs are already patrolling with automatic weapons. The police robots are already on the streets with net guns and tear gas. While we're debating the ethics of AI bodyguards, China is building the infrastructure for a completely automated security state. American billionaires spending $25 million a year on human security teams are essentially paying premium prices for obsolete technology. They're buying horse-drawn carriages in the age of automobiles. The question isn't whether AI bodyguards will replace human protection. It's how quickly it will happen, and whether America will be ready for a world where the ultra-wealthy are protected by machines that never sleep, never hesitate, and never show mercy. The robot revolution in personal security isn't coming. It's already here, and the humans don't stand a chance. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out the videos suggested on your screen for more shocking revelations about how the richest are reshaping the world.